Have you been enjoying some Counter-Strike 2 lately, much like I have? Are you using a Radeon 7000 series graphic card, much like what I'm currently using? Well, listen up gamers, this is kind of a PSA if you are a Counter-Strike 2 gamer with an AMD 7000 series graphic card. So with the latest AMD Adrenaline 23.10.1 drivers, AMD has enabled compatibility with their anti-lag feature on those graphic cards. This feature is much like Nvidia Reflex in that they are both used to lower input delay in the games that you're playing by syncing the game, your GPU, and CPU information in one with one another. Except whereas Nvidia Reflex is game dependent to turn this feature on within the game's own graphical options, AMD's anti-lag can be enabled right from the Adrenaline software to work with supposedly every game that's out there. Now a feature that's like this would be absolutely awesome in a game like Counter-Strike 2 with every single millisecond is important, especially when you're trying to shoot another enemy on the dot. Well, according to Counter-Strike's own recent Twitter account, uh, they mentioned, and I quote, AMD's latest driver has made their anti-lag feature available for CS2, which is implemented by detouring engine DLL functions. If you are an AMD customer and play CS2, do not enable anti-lag, as any tampering with CS code will result in a VAC ban. Now, Valve did mention separately that those that are affected by the ban will have it reversed in the future once AMD fixes their drivers, but it really sucks for folks that played for these graphic cards and are trying to get the competitive edge in games and now AMD is going to have to take this L until they can actually fix the issue. I find the irony about this as well is that just three days ago AMD put out a video on their own YouTube channel advertising the use of HyperRX which also includes the anti-lag feature to quote boost performance and minimize input lag within a game like Counter-Strike 2 and its benefits with the 7000 series graphic cards. Now personally I think that it would be more responsible for AMD to take this video down or put it to private mode in the meantime until they actually fix these drivers because they don't want to enable something that's going to cause gamers to get banned from the game that they're advertising this feature for. Now what we're going to do real quick is just kind of go over how to actually disable this within the Adrenaline software. So if you are a 7000 series owner, we can show you how to easily get it turned off. So we've got the Adrenaline software open already and we're going to go straight into the graphics tab. Now you see I already have it set over to default over here which shuts off every one of these features. If you have either quality or hyper RX enabled, which we'll see once we turn on quality. Uh, by default, quality already turns on anti-lag and anti-lag plus in all of their games uh, on everything that you have it on. If you have Hyper RX, it turns on the super resolution as well, which we're not going to be using. But very often you're going to have people that might be using that quality setting to get that competitive edge. What you can simply do is just click over to default and it turns off every single one of these features and then you don't have to worry about it. Now say you wanted it to be game dependent where you still want to have these anti-lag and boost features enabled in other games but specifically want to shut it off in Counter-Strike 2. Well if we go over to the games tab and then we select Counter-Strike 2 from the list of games that you have installed, it's going to bring us to the option specifically for Counter-Strike 2 and very similar to like what we were seeing over in the other tab over here we can scroll down and we can see all the options that we can enable or disable. We can simply just take the gaming profile and set that to default and it'll turn off every one of those graphic options that are on the AMD graphics card or you could just specifically turn off the Radeon anti-lag. I would recommend just setting it to default until further notice. Now there's been no word yet from AMD as to when they'll get this fixed but hopefully there'll be a driver out update soon that's going to get this fixed and then people who've already been banned from using such a feature will also have their VAC bans lifted. But that's going to be it for this one. This is Leo from TechLine signing out.